playing with his Isaac as his Isaac watched Christian Isaacs on the Isaac. All right, uh, hello. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome back to more The Binding of Isaac Repentance to Mother Streak. Um, oh, it's that video. There's that video of The Binding of Isaac uh, intro. I think it's called The Isaac of Isaac or something. Look it up. It is very funny. Um, essentially, they just, they just change all of the words that make any sense to be Isaac. So it's like, Isaac lived on an Isaac on top of an Isaac. You know, it's it's very funny. Um, would definitely recommend it. Anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here to do the Binding of Isaac to Mother Streak. Here we go. Run 56 as Isaac on Isaac difficulty with our win streak as 55. This is run number 56. Let's get going. A yoink. Cool. Let's have a look here. R6GA ATKH. Cool. Um, so yeah, today is a uh, it's it's a monumental day for this here Binding of Isaac channel. The Xantor plays Isaac channel. It's a monumental day. We've just hit triple digits in subscribers. We hit the big 100. And um yeah, thank you all for subscribing for those who have. And um yeah, if you haven't already, I would I would greatly appreciate it. You don't have to, but you know, it's it's, it's up to you really. Um, so yeah, and uh, number number one hundred subscriber was actually uh, kind of interesting. Uh, <laughs> so the guy who subscribed um, as subscriber number one hundred was Lizix, who is um, who followed me on Twitter as a Guitar Hero player who, um, you know, knows me for Guitar Hero stuff. Uh, I don't know if he's into Isaac at all, but, uh, there you go. Thank you, Lizix, for the, uh, for, for being number 100. Um, you legend. And, uh, I don't know, I think I might do that. Like, for the bigger monumental subscriber numbers, I might, I might do that, you know? Might give a little, little shout-out, um, to those who are subscribed, so there you go. Uh, that is Lizix, spelt L-Y-S-I-X, Lysix. So, um, there you go. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, there you go. It's pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we have reached 100 subscribers. Alright, now, on with the run, I guess. Uh, we got a little bit of health. On the floor, some soul hearts, which I'm, I'm going to wait for before picking up anything else. Because, of course, there might be a sack room that we could use, or go into our curse room instead. Um, just a general, in general, good idea to do that. And you know what? I'm just going to take that mulligan. I'm not going to spend my bombs on it. We've got enough health lying around that, you know, we can do that. Might as well. Uh, mulligan is really good. It's like... The easiest way to explain it is it's... Guppy on a massive budget. <laughs> uh, essentially, every single time you hit with your tears, there is a small chance of you spawning an attack fly who swoops in and hits the enemies. So it's... You know, it's Guppy on a big budget. Oh, look at that. Hit double tears up straight away. That's huge. That is huge. Guppy on a huge budget. Um, I like it. It's really good. Mulligan. Um, of course, the flyers deal damage scaled to you. Um, three times damage, I believe. It's either 3 or 2.5. I can't remember. Because they, they made it for some reason that flyers is one set of damage and then spiders is like the other. It's like 2.5 for one and 3 for the other. And I don't know why they did that. But there we go. Uh, that's really good, actually. I'll happily take a cube of meat. Good little uh, orbital to protect us from tears, just to start with. Very nice. And uh, yeah, let's go into our curse room before we move on. Who knows, there might be an item in there, we could roll it. You never know what we got. Okay. Got one of you, a little chungus. Uh, I'm okay. Hermit card, nice, we can get out of here for, uh, for free, essentially. Wow, gotta take this. Double range down, that's pretty bad. 
Pheromones. Power pill. What makes you small? I'll save that. We'll save that. The, uh, the double range down kind of sucks, but honestly, that's fine. It's not a big deal. We're not going to struggle. Uh, power pill again. Okay, whatever. I'll keep the hermit. Your shop teleport could be useful. Um, especially if we don't have a key to get in there. Um, let's go. Good stuff. We are on to the downpour. So, as per usual, I have had my dinner just before this, so... Expect strange noises from me. For me kind of doing mini burps or whatever. Um, expect that. Wow, look at that. Huge. Um, okay, I'm going to use this. So, what this is, is, uh, yeah, the Satanic Bible. So, when you use it on the floor, it'll turn whatever your boss room item is into a devil room item. Instead of a regular, a regular item. So, it's, it's interesting. Um, and the Book of Revelations will forcibly spawn a, um, a, a horseman of the apocalypse, but because we've already got a cube of meat, and uh, because the previous floor had one, we shouldn't get another one this floor. We shouldn't. But maybe we will? I, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know how it works with alternate floors. But those are some little side effects of books, and uh, it's it's kind of cool. Uh, the Bible as well. Um, if you use it on um, Mom's foot and Mom's heart, you get an insta kill. It'll just instantly wipe out um, the mother boss instantly. Look at that! Two for one. Very nice. Jesus, this game really wants to give me a lot of pills today, doesn't it? Okay, uh, let's go into here. What a really short floor. That was extremely short. <laughs> Don't know why it was quite that short. There you go. Kind of hoping for a little range up. Just, just one. We'll kind of um, negate the negative pills of that one uh, horse pill. Ow. That's fine. At least we didn't get this guy when we have to be the last day. See, look, there you go. There's a double room item right there. Even though um, it's a boss room. Uh, sure, I'll take this. Eye of the Occult. That's good. Gives you control tiers, so you can wiggle them around. You can move them independently. Um, the only thing you lose from this, really, is diagonal shots. You can't do diagonal shots anymore. But, of course, you can go, like... You know, you can do your own diagonal shots like that. But, uh, that's probably the only real sort of downside to it, really. Alright, what's in here? Isaac's head? Nah. Nah. I'm not really a fan. Um, is that decap attack? Yeah, that's decap attack. It's different. Not a huge fan of that. Um, yeah, let's just go. Nothing else really I can do on this floor. I kind of want to save a little bit more money before checking the shop. Um, could check a secret room, I guess, which is going to be above the shop. It's got to be here, right? There you go. That was worth it. Um, got ourselves a little trinket. Very nice. Free goodies. It's a sack at the start of the next floor. Yeah, unfortunately we don't get a couple more rooms to get recharged, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's move on. Cool, cool, cool. And there's our sack. Ooh, look at that. It's a dark sack as well. Very nice. So yeah, I have the occult. It, it, it's a weird one. Some people like it, some people don't. 
Um, I like it because it gives you more damage. But I could definitely see the argument to uh, to not liking it as well. Because uh, it can, can mess you up. With diagonal shots especially. But, you know, you get a lot of control over it. Cool. Uh, of course we're going to have to be lost on this floor as well. So we've got to be careful. Um, find rooms in particular that I would like to avoid. Because they are dangerous. Uh, Wowee. That is, uh, that's pretty fun. <laughs> Look at that. Controlled electricity. I can move my electric wherever I want to. Oh, man. There could be some really cool combos with this, not gonna lie. Look at that. Can bend electricity between our tiers. Oh, <laughs> what a fun little run we got already. Very cool. The, the only downside to having this item is that we have to listen to this annoying electricity sound the whole run. I'm not a huge fan of it. In fact, I'm actually going to turn my game down a tiny bit because of it. Um, I also like to turn my game down as well because, you know, I can kind of hear myself think a little bit more. I can hear myself. Which I think is kind of important when uh, doing commentary of any sort. Alright. And new rooms there. All the rooms on this floor are pretty safe, not gonna lie. I think the one I'm most worried about is gonna be that one with the that big room. The the chonky room. Which shouldn't even be that bad. But I'm most afraid of that because there was a champion in there. But we should be able to just shoot behind the rocks, so I think we should be safe. And a really good boss as well. Really solid. I'm looking forward to see where this run's gonna go <laughs> with this build. It's pretty cool. There's a squeezy, very nice. Tears up. Uh, ooh, Pentagrizzle. Uh, I'm gonna take that. Don't know what health we're at now, which is a little bit spooky, but we should be fine since we just picked up two Solis at the same time. Uh, cool. Let's do the whole floor again as the lost and, and grab our knife piece. Yoink. Also, I have to know, is this our secret room? It is. Ooh, bomber. Very nice. Just what I wanted. Since we were kind of low. Alright, let's be careful. I'm uh, going to be using my, um, my stick as well for shooting tears for a little bit as well because of course we can now shoot diagonally as well very nice gonna leave and enter the room again just to clear everything Full? Nah. So the full's interesting. Um, reverse full, anyway. Essentially, uh, it'll drop everything that you have. So, for example, at the moment, it would drop um, 12 coins on the ground and 6 bombs. And it'll even uh, do that with items as well. Well, not items, but... Like, let's say you have 50 coins or whatever. It'll drop you 2... Uh... 225 cent items on the ground for you so if you've got a lot of resources it could be really cool to use that if you've got like let's say um uh, a d6 or whatever because you could get a lot of cool items out of it by re-rolling 
at, you know, kind of the expense of losing all of your, uh, all your collectibles. Well, let's say we're late game. We have the, uh, yeah, we, we have the, uh, the reverse full card and the D6. And we've got, like, 99 of everything. We could drop that and we'd get loads of cool stuff from it. We get like a triple re-roll just from that. At the expense, of course, of losing everything we picked up. Uh, I'm going to take that because I don't know what our health is at the moment. Uh, you know, we had to spend a couple of soul hearts to, to get that pentagram. So I think it's worth picking up our health up just to keep us safe. And uh, yeah, easy floor. Alright, uh, let's see. Could check my shop. Don't have the money for it, really. Okay, I think I will. I know where our top secret room is, anyway. Um, and yeah, we'll just bomb into there. There you go. Um, ooh. Cracked key is interesting. I'll take a soul heart. I'll do this. Okay. Where do I think the ultra secret room is? I, I think... It's going to be down and to the left of this down here. But I'm going to use it in our item room. So a cracked key will allow you to open up a red room. And uh, red rooms could potentially lead to an ultra secret room. Um, so the best place to use it is actually in your special room items. And go away from the floor. Like that. To cover most, like as much bases as possible. Because usually it's diagonally of a special room. And it is inaccessible um, through normal means. So it's like diagonal to a room. Um, but we didn't get lucky there. That's fine. That happens. Um, I'm certain it was probably diagonal down left to our curse room. But it would cost a lot of health to do that. Um, anyway. Knife piece one. And down to the mines. Going well so far. I'm happy with this run. Uh, oh, we got plenty of health. Was, uh, sh shouldn't have been worried at all about that. Oh. Oh, game. You know what I think about these machines. Oh. You know what I think about them. I, I just gotta play them. <laughs> They're just too good. Okay, well. I think you know what this floor is gonna be. This floor is gonna be the grind of me trying to, uh, trying to get all of that. Trying to get it all unlocked and, and done. Let's just push that out the way. There you go. Uh, interesting. Don't really have the s setup. Don't really have the you know the build really for that sack room this run. Got too many soul hearts for that. Let's see if we get the present. Oh, we did. Very nice. Uh, hmm, interesting. I wonder. Okay, it's not there. That's unfortunate. Could it be above here? Okay, I didn't want to pick that up, but that's fine. Is it there, our secret room? No. Because we could use the present in our secret room and get secret room rerolls. Kind of hoping we get one. It's going to be to the right of here, isn't it? No. Hmm. It's okay. I haven't got the best floor layout for this. Hmm. It's okay. What are you? Rubber baby? Sure. Why not? A little bit more electric. Yeah, I don't think we've got the uh, the right sort of floor layout. That's fine. We can still make use of it though and, and have, a, have a fun old time with it. 
Because, like, I think the best place really to use present uh, is in a secret room. Because then you get, you know, guaranteed secret room items from it. I don't know where our secret room is. What a weird looking floor. I don't know. Could it be here? That's a weird place for secret room, but it could be. Yeah, it is. Well, there you go. Weird one. Uh, I think we do it. We go for it anyway. We we go for the big plays. Because if it pays off, it'll be hecka satisfying. And you know, what else have we got to re-roll? We, we got nothing else to re-roll. Might as well go for the big boy. So the plan is, we uh, go into our secret room, use the present there. And what that does is that means the present will spawn a secret room item because it's spawned in there. Um, if you went to like an angel room and spawned the present, uh, it would give you, yeah, angel room stuff um, and so on. Okay, so that's a secret room item. Uh, whenever we get hit, it has a small chance to show us what the secret rooms are and things like the floor layout. I think we can do better than that. They're gonna go for a re-roll. We're, go we're going for cracked crown, or well, not cracked crown, glitched crown. That's that's what we're going after. Glitched crown is my best friend in this game. Never lets me down. And um, yeah, it's it's the best. We got some good items so far. Um, if we had glitched crown, we would get some ridiculously insane items with this build. It would be very fun. Okay, that's interesting. The infinity. So it will allow us to cycle through all the different batteries, including the D6. So, uh, goodbye D6. Red key? Uh, okay. Right. So the red key is, uh, yeah, it will allow us to go into ultra secret rooms and uh, and just other random rooms of the sort like this there's a yellow button there what's that supposed to do <laughs> can't do anything on this floor that's weird but you never know could have been something good uh, I say we go for another reroll um, we'll, we'll go into our shop and hope that there's a battery there and we'll go for another reroll. Because, uh, yeah, this could be good. Okay, there's nothing here. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll just take that. And move on. So, you might be thinking, oh, but the D6 is gone now. It's fine. This is better than the D6. It is every dice you want it to be. And more. It's the D6 but better. It is all the dice. Alright, let's take that. Another tier 8 up. It's really good. And, um, yeah, let's move on. Not much else to do here. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we could play the, the challenge room. Could go into the curse room, I guess, but yeah, we'll we'll do it. I know, I know. You want to see me get to the next floor? I know, I get it. But sometimes you just got to optimize a little bit more, especially when you've got potential for such a cool build. Speed. You just got to do it. I'm doing it. Kind of would like a bit higher fire rate if I'm being completely honest. I think my fire rate's kind of slow. Cat Nine Tails would be great right about now. Or a speedball. Speedball would be better. Ooh, okay. Reverse Emperor and a Judgy. Okay. 
Well, we'll use Reverse Emperor now. So Reverse Emperor will take you to a boss two floors down from where you currently are. And uh, if you beat it, you get an item for it. I'm sure that does mean, you know, you are fighting up against a, a harder boss than what you are used to. At this point in the game, but it's kind of worth it. Ow. It's fine. Took a little bit of damage, but overall we did good. Uh, that's actually really good. Speed up. I want to speed up. And we'll just take Judgment with us, I guess. Uh, anything else in here? Not really. Don't want that. We'll play this guy a couple times. I suppose. Since you've been so good, I'll play a little bit more. Alright, you're not, you're not good. I mean, if he kept, kept paying out, I would have kept playing him. But he didn't pay out any more than that, so that's fine. And, uh, yeah, now we'll move on. I forgot what was in a shop, though, because you have 15 coins now. Let's see. Uh, this isn't bad. Yeah, we'll take this. Options. There might be more options. So what this item does is whenever you get a end of room item spawn, uh, you will get the opportunity to pick one of the other. Well, one or the other. So there'll be two things that drop and you can pick one of them. So it's pretty good. Like if you're particularly low on keys, for example, you can, you know, pick up keys. So you look, we got a, a bomb or a chest. I'm obviously going to open the chest. Because there's going to be more in there. And we get either a troll bomb or a key. We picked up the key. Even though the troll bomb exploded. So technically we got both of them. Technically. Uh, obviously I'm going to blow that up. It's kind of a cool little mini game, you know. I like the uh, the range here. That's really good. Nice little mini game. Uh, I'll roll it. Chemical peel? Sure. To damage up in one eye. Pretty sure that's the secret room. Yeah, there you go. You can't fool me, game. I'm, I'm a secret room boy. I, I know my stuff about secret rooms. You can't fool me. Apart from when you do. Ooh. This is pretty good, actually. I think I prefer this than the sack. So safety scissors, uh, whenever a troll bomb spawns, it'll diffuse it. It'll cut the wire of the uh, the troll bomb, and um, yeah, it won't explode, and you'll just get to keep it. Uh, ooh, I kind of want that. That's good. Got anything to re-roll? No. Unfortunately not. I'll take that. Death. Okay, I'll just use death in the next room. Yoink. Pretty good room to use it on, to be honest. Uh, I'll take that. Coin. Need a few more coins. What do you got? Nothing. Still, I, don't, I still don't think we've actually found a magic mush through that yet. Pretty sure we haven't. One day, I promise you, chat, one of these days, we will find a magic mush through a mushroom. 
and it'll be the most glorious moment of my life. Pit 2, okay, so we need to get our knife piece before we move on. Range up, sure. Happily take a range up. Nah, and nah. Honestly, the, I'm going to be honest, right? The finger genuinely annoys me. It angers me, the finger. It's so wobbly and frustrating. I, I hate it. The way it wobbles, it's almost like, it almost gives me like motion sickness of such, you know, it's like, ugh, just horrible, the finger. It's good, I mean, it, it does like a line of invisible damage to enemies that you point at, but it's really frustrating. And there we go. Knife piece acquired. Isn't it weird the word acquired? You say just say acquired. But there's actually a C in there. Acquired. It's like a hidden C. Uh. That was a butthole moment right there. <laughs> It's a clencher. I clenched my booty for that one. Not a fan of this one. Oh, I thought we could get over it. It's fine. And yoink! <laughs> well, there needs to be a name for that room. There has to be a name for it. I don't know what that name would be, but there's got to be like a particular name for it. Because it, it, like, for those who um who know about Super Mario Odyssey, for example. Um, there's a trick in Mario Odyssey speedrunning at the very end of the game that they call XD skip. And it doesn't save any time, but it it looks cool. And I, I feel like it should be one of those. It should be a bit like that. You know? That's what it makes me think of. It's like a skip that you really don't have to do, but it's fun to do anyway. You, like, you just do it because you can, sort of thing. There needs to be a name for that. What about, like, the Greg skip? I don't know. Uh, okay, well, I think the choice is obvious here. Yoink. Uh, oh, a Leviathan, now we can fly. Cool. Nah, I'm not taking a knife. Yoink and a yoink. And uh, I think that's it for this floor. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Got both knife pieces. Look at that. We've got like a weird blue aura around our tears now. That's kind of cool. Because it's like the purple is messing up with the... Oh no, it's not the purple. They're just giving off a blue aura for some reason. Weird. Anyway. Got a knife piece. Purple door. Let's go. Gehenna. Gehenna. Less ago. Less ago. Gehenna. A 
Bomb for bomb is always worth it. Uh, I want the chest. There we go. Yeah, I'd say nine times out of ten you want to pick up the chest with the with the, the secret secret thing. With that item. Are you just stuck? I know what hit me there. Did anyone see what hit me? I, I genuinely didn't see it. I was standing about here and I got hit. Was it the fire? I reckon it was the fire. Must have been. Nice little speed. No shot speed though. Ah. Ow, come on, game. Be nice. <laughs> play play fair, game. Fair play, fair trade. Be a fair trade user. Stars? Uh, nah, I don't want to get rid of Mulligan. So essentially the, the reverse stars will get rid of the first item you picked up and give you a new one on the floor and replacement for it. So I don't really want to get rid of Mulligan because that's a pretty good item. Um, unfortunately it is only the items that you pick up first. So for example, let's say you get an, a bad Eden start. Um, you can't get rid of the item you started with, unfortunately. I wish that would be changed, but, uh, whatever. Ooh, the credit card. Fancy. Joker? Right, here we go. We'll go into our Joker. Do a little re-roller. Don't want that. Um, yeah, we haven't found our item room or shop yet, have we? So I'm just going to explore the rest of the floor. Okay, we found the shop, found the item room, have we? I don't think we have. I forgot we didn't have... We got flight. I'm such a dingus. I was like, oh, I gotta do the puzzle. We have flight. I don't need to. Ooh, very nice. Look at that. Just the health I wanted. There's our item room. It's all I was after. Sure, I guess. It's not great, but... Sure. Okay. And now we move on. Uh, if we get our double room again, we can do another re-roll. This could be kind of cool. And then we could get it all for free with the credit card. Sounds like a plan. Oh, we didn't get it, but that's okay. Let's just re-roll that. Nah. Oh, I think I'm good. Although, why not? We'll try it. Okay, lower speed, higher damage, higher tier rate, higher range, lower shot speed. Okay, kind of wanted higher shot speed from that, but... Oh, well. And that was getting a 1. Let's move on. Getting a 2... With the lowest shot speed in the world. I wish I had higher. I'll definitely make uh, this a little bit easier with the electricity. 
Not that this is bad or anything, it's just I think it would make it a bit better. Another charge key we can keep around to get another charge. Another re-roll. Uh, I think, yeah, if we're going to pick up coins, this is going to be the last floor I pick up coins. Because after this floor, we don't have any more shops. So, like, let's say there's a, a choice between a key or a coin. Every single time, we should not go for the coin. Because there's no point. Ooh. Hoifa. Hoifa is very good. Every single time you get hit from now on, it'll only be uh, for half of a heart, even champions. So it is extremely good. Uh, no need for that. So if you just pick that up, it will give us five extra bombs. Hierophante. Why not? Cool. Have no need for coins anymore. Right, what we got in here? Bunch of health that I don't need. Um, although, hmm, okay, we we do need it. Uh, hold, the, hold the horse. Hold the horse. Hold your horses and hold them tight. We are about to progress with might. I don't know. That's two. Three. Four. Because we've got the wafer, we can play the sack room for uh, half a heart each. And, you know, we've kind of got a lot of spare health lying around in this secret room. So uh, we could play this quite a bit. Get two angels to spawn and then get double re-rolls for it. With the uh, the charge key. I think that's a good idea. Uno. A dos. Oh, you're going to make me go all the way back, aren't you, game? Troll. But yeah, this is good. It's it's a little bit backtracky and a little bit tedious, but it's worth it in the end. We get two extra items that we wouldn't have gotten anyway. Three, it seems. I'll um I'm not gonna take that. Oh okay, I got trolled. That's fine. I was like shooting them like, oh no, I'm gonna get hit, but no, no, fine. I don't like it going in this lower room. I don't need to. It's literally longer. So that was the bomb one. So we should get... Yeah. Yeah. So f from this we get Angel 1. The next hit we get Soul Hearts or Coins. And then after that... Is when we get the big one. Okay, we get the soul hearts. Nice. Here we go. This is this is the big one. This is the one we've been waiting for. Don't need to play it anymore after this. Just one more hit. You see how good bone hearts can be with with sac rooms, though, right? So good, especially with the wafer as well. That's just overpowered. Here we go. A 
Okay, this is the big one. You get a triple reroll by picking up that uh, that thing down here. Yoink. Do I prefer it more than the Angel Room? I don't even know. I don't even know. But I'm going to do it. Might be worth saving it. It is Gehenna 2 though, so we don't get to know. We don't get to come back, but that's fine. Eh, not worth it. Not worth it, but you never know, right? It could have been great. Alright. Cool. Uh, let's just move on. Nothing really we can do. Um, I don't know, I guess we just explore the rest of the floor for a little bit. Okay. Tarot cloth. Reverse chariot. Nah. Because you never know, right? We we might get the re-rolls. If we're really lucky. I, I'm very much doubtful, but you never know. We'll check this. Because it, it would be really cool to get another reroll. But it doesn't look like we're going to get it. <sighs> oh well. Would have been good though. Ooh. Go on. Dice bag. Gotta hope. Gotta hope. Okay, right. Um, we'll take that for the damage. Ah, oh, quintuple reroll. Oh, if only I'd have known. Oh, <laughs> I missed out on a quintuple reroll in an angel room. Wait, no, we did it. We got a quintuple reroll. Oh, each one of those counts. This is so huge. That was that was the most disappointing thing, and now also the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Quintuple reroll. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, we'll take this. And we'll take that. Yeah. Got purple go go juice now. I was happy with all. Like, honestly, any of those would have been great. Apart from Spirit Sword. Not after Spirit Sword. That was great. I'm so glad it turned out the way it did. Two angels was perfect. You had a quintuple re roll. Cool. Let's uh, move on to the corpse. That was so lucky. You, you've no idea how lucky we got. If we had, like, one angel statue, we wouldn't have gotten it. But because he had two angel statues, we were lucky enough to get it. So that was insane luck. So you might be thinking, well, I've still, why have you still got the credit card? That's useless to you now, right? Uh, Devil Rooms can still give us, uh, give us deals, and we can use them. You can use the credit card with it, so it it still works, it still has a purpose. We roll it and we roll it. Nah. You know what? Come along for the ride. 
I have also just realized that because we have this dice, the um, Delirium dice or whatever, the D-Infinity, we could have switched to... Uh, where is it again? Yeah, this one. The Eternal D6, which is like a D6, but it has a 50-50 chance of removing the item. So, I mean, it, it could have worked. Could have used that. But then, then again, there's a chance it could just destroy our items. So, you know, could have been good. Could have worked. Pretty fun build. Got the go go juice of death. Look at that. Getting melted. We're only at nine damage as well. I don't feel like nine damage is a huge amount, but we're dealing quite a bit. Uh, range? Nah. Give me... Ugh. Oh, okay. A stapler. I can't say no to my, my whole stapler. We kind of like a shot speed, though. Look at these little tears dancing around. <laughs> the go-go juice is dancing. This is the thumbnail shot right here. There you go. Dancing go-go juice. I don't even know what Google -Go Juice is, but that's what I imagine it looks like. Or black currant juice. Here's the thing, okay? The the Chewit Company. If anyone from the Chewit's company is watching this for some odd reason, please convince your higher up, or if you are the higher up, hello sir or madam. Um Please bring black black currant chewits. They're like the greatest thing ever, and I will happily buy boxes of them. Um, that is almost certainly what um, all of the revenue from this here YouTube channel would make uh, when we get to a thousand subscribers, anyway, and I start getting YouTube payouts. That's what it'll all go towards. Just endless supplies of black currant chewits, warehouses full of them for my my mouth to enjoy. Because they are so nice. They are delish. And they don't do them anymore. They discontinued them. I don't know how to describe blackcurrant chewits to someone who's never had them before. They're like... Because the thing is, you, you, you can't really say they're gummy. Because gummy is more like Haribo, right? But they're not like that. They're like a chewy pink sticky sort of substance I don't know how to describe it apart from that and they're flavoured in little squares they're like flavoured rectangular square rectangles um, and you chew them and all the juice comes out and it's it tastes amazing um, and I don't know where to get any. They don't exist anywhere. I, I've even looked for alternatives and they don't exist. I've, I've literally typed in uh, black currant chewer alternatives and the first result on, result on Google, I kid you not, is um, like these weird special sweets for like autistic children. It's like, it's like <laughs> they're that specialized. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, if any company would start making blackcurrant chewits, uh, I would I would happily promote them. <laughs> or um, blackcurrant chewy 
chewy sweets. I would appreciate it. Uh, if, if they're good, I would promote them on this here YouTube channel. And um, with that, let's uh, let's let's give all of this to uh, to our chest here, and that is the mother fight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time for run number fifty-seven. Hell yeah! Look, how, look at that. Fifty-six runs in a row. That's a record for me. That is a record. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I will see you all later. And goodbye.